What's up guys? I have a 10 gigabit switch and I'm gonna run speed tests on various ethernet cables starting from the Cat 5e, Cat 6, Cat 6a, Cat 7, and Cat 8. All of these cables are at 100 feet, which is around 30.5 meters. So let's see how fast they can go. So I'm gonna run a local speed test between two different computers. Let me zoom in so you guys could see that better. So this is my Windows computer. I have it acting as a server, so I'm using Open Speed Test Server. I've done a separate video on this on how to set this up. If you guys are interested, links below. So this computer, my Windows computer is acting as a server and all I need to do with the Mac is go to this IP address and port. So let me zoom back out. Let's switch over to the Mac, which is on HDMI 1. Okay, so currently the Mac is not connected to anything. The Wi-Fi is off and there's no Ethernet connected and we're gonna start off with the Cat 8 Ethernet cable. So I'm gonna go plug that in right now. Now technically the Cat 8 can go up to 40 gigabits per second, however my hardware is capped to 10 gigs. So this is going from my Mac to my 10 gig switch, which is then going to my uh, Windows PC. So now when I refresh the page, I'm good to go. I could click start. And with Cat 8, just as I would expect, I am getting to those just about those 10 gigabit speeds. So 9.7, almost 9.8 down and I expect to get right around the same on the upload. And here's the kicker. Because Ethernet's full duplex, I'm gonna kick off an internet speed test. So while that's doing the upload, I'll kick off the download. So as you guys can see, my internet speeds happen to be five gigs up and down, and that's why I'm doing a local so I can actually reach those full speeds. But basically, while it was downloading five gigs, it was actually uploading um, basically 9.7 gigs. So I got like 5 down, 4.5 up, and again, the server could be busy at times, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if I got 5 up if I ran this a little bit later when less people were using it. But as you guys can see, even in full duplex mode, Cat8 can, at 100 feet, easily do basically almost those 10 gigabit speeds and even do it in full duplex where it's uploading and downloading at the same time. Just refresh the page, connect it to Cat7, let's click start. And if you guys are wondering, the cables are coiled up, and even in a coiled up state, it can get to these, like, basically the 10 gig speeds. So getting 9.7 down, and once it starts on the upload, I'll kick off an internet speed test on the download. All right, so I'm going to kick that off. So just to show you guys the full duplex nature of this cable. So we're getting those basically 5 gigs, which is my maximum internet speeds, and we're getting that, you know, 9.8. And if you guys want to see ping and jitter, ping 2, jitter 0.2. Um, and again, depending on what time you're running it, you know, but I could pretty much get to just about my full um, download and upload as well while that was going on. So Cat 7, 100 feet, good to go. All right, so I just connected the Cat 6A cable. I'm going to click start. And I expect the Cat 6A to do just as well. So again, pretty much getting those full, just about those full 10 gigabit speeds. And I'll kick off a internet speed test as well for this. Ping 2, jitter 0.2 for those of you guys wondering. And uh, all right, let's kick this off. So full duplex, we're, we're golden. While this is doing the upload test, I'm doing the download test right here. And uh, yeah, five down, 4.8. 9 up. So basically, still doing fantastic. And again, it looks like the Cat 6A actually got a little bit faster upload than the rest, but again, this can actually vary at the time of the server. This is why I prefer the local speed test, just because they're a little more consistent. And the upload of this overlapped just a bit on the upload of that. That's why towards the end you saw that little bit of a fall, because it was, it was while this started the upload, this was wrapping up the upload. That's why that you saw that little bit of a drop at the end. So I just connected the Cat6. We're gonna refresh the page. We're gonna click start. And Cat6 is also actually rated to go up to 10 gigabits per second, up to, I believe, 55 meters. And now we're, again, we're getting those 9.8. Uh, this one actually got better ping and better jitter, actually. Granted, not that the other ones were bad, but technically, uh, this actually did a little bit better. So let's kick off the speed test as well for this guy. And the server matters too on the internet speed test as well. So the server can actually make a difference. But full duplex, no issues. While it's uploading at the almost maximum 10 gigs, it's downloading at the 5 gigs. And again, it really 
the server actually does make a pretty big difference. So you saw that this one got 4.9. Um, so technically, this is the highest upload speed. But again, the server, the time, all of that stuff makes a difference with the internet speed test. For the moment of truth, the CAF5e, CAF5e is actually rated for gigabit speeds. And this is the one that's interesting because at 100 feet, which is again around 30.5 meters, ping one, jitter zero, zero the same as CAT6, I'm pretty much getting those full 10 gig speeds. Even on a CAT5e cable, and I'll kick off this test while that one's running. So we'll try out the full duplex. So, yeah. I mean, just about there, 9.5, 9.6, while this is uploading. And that's going to start to slow down a bit because this upload started. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I mean, this one did get the slowest upload speed on the internet. Let's just, let's do it one more time with this. Let's just see what happens. Again, CAF5e is actually rated for gigabit speeds. And the fact that it's getting 10 gigs is pretty impressive. So 9.8, full, full, uh, just about the full 10 gig speeds download. Uh, ping was a little bit worse, but ping two milliseconds is fantastic ping. That's such a low number. So let's, let's kick off another one. So yeah, 9.7. Uh, I waited just enough for this to see if we can get to those. And then, yeah, full duplex, we're golden. So, yeah, so it looks like all the cables at right around 100 feet can do it. This, again, this, the servers really make a difference, and this is ig exactly why I, I prefer the local speed test. So I want to do, let's do Frontier, because it was getting like 4.5 on the upload. So let's see what we could get. Again, the servers make a difference because on the upload on this thing, I did get 9.7, which means it should be able to do 5 on the internet. And uh, I keep saying this, but this is there's a reason why I like to do the public, the local speed test because of its consistency. But yeah, so we got the 4.6. So really, the server, the time you run the internet speed test, it actually can make a pretty big difference. Um, but as you guys could see with this one, yeah, full 10 gigs, all the cables, CAT5e, CAT6, CAT6a, CAT7, and CAT8 at, at 100 feet, which is 30.5 meters, are all able to get this, which means, in theory, anything shorter than these, as long as it's a quality cable, it should be able to get to those full 10 gig speeds, which is pretty impressive. So... There it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. If you guys have questions or comments or other suggestions, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.